Well, hello, tribe. Wow. Well, hello, tribe. Oh, oh. cut that down. My bad. <laughs> it's so good to have you with us this evening for the next edition of Monday Night Live. Oh, yeah, baby. That's right. That's right. So grab a keto munchie. Don't forget to remind your mama that we're live right now because you know she always forgets. And we're going to try for the next hour to answer as many questions as we can. And I might occasionally go off on an educational tangent, but only if I think that it will help you, the viewer. I promise. Like he said, we try to answer as many as possible. It's impossible to answer all of them within an hour, but we do our best. So yep. just keep that in mind. And if you have specific questions that you really need answers to, I'm going to tell you at the end of this video how you can get access uh, to a more in-depth question and answer with Nisha and I. Uh, just stick around to the end and we'll talk about that. Uh, first, I want to say hello. Where are you watching from? Where in the world are you right now? What city? What state? What country? Where are you at? First and foremost. Then I want to congratulate American Gypsy son, Dakota, who's 13 years old and has used a proper human diet to reverse his type 2 diabetes that he had already contracted as a 13-year-old, and also to lose 30 pounds of unhealthy stored fat. So congratulations, Dakota. Well done. Tell your friends how you did it. American Gypsy, I know you're very proud. Woo! Look at all the places. Man, you guys are all it up. over the world. I can't even read them. They're going by so fast. Dang. Alabama, Texas. Omaha, Omaha. Nebraska. Where else Seriously. we got? Utah, <laughs> Tampa, Georgia, I Idaho. God bless. <laughs> They're going fast. Wow. You so, guys are crazy out there. We're only live on YouTube tonight. So if you've got a buddy who always watches us on Facebook, send him a text or something and tell him only on YouTube tonight. We're, we're uh, slowly migrating away from the FB, uh, and not for any particular reason, but just out of, out of our, uh, an abundance of caution because we don't want to get it also is easier to see your questions yeah we get to see every single question when we do it this way clarksville tennessee hey neighbor louisville kentucky we anaheim. were just there anaheim nice cincinnati heart cell alabama churchill tennessee hey neighbor i love it somebody Fairfax. from candace from canada's in the house all right beautiful thailand Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Uh, I, I saw a few questions go by about hair loss. Anytime you're losing weight quickly, you're going to have some hair loss. If you have a baby, you're going to have a hair loss. If you go through a super stressful time in your life, you're going to have hair loss. That's normal. I've got a YouTube video that goes into much more detail about that. But if you're using keto, ketovore, carnivore, low carb, or any diet to lose weight very quickly, you're going to have some hair loss. That's completely normal and expected. All doctors know this or should know this. Uh, check out my YouTube video for more information about that. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the thumb button, the like button down here in this area. That just lets YouTube know that, you know, we're kind of doing something cool over here and yep. maybe they want to suggest it to other people. Yep. Yep. The more interaction, the more they send it out. Thank you, Steve Cole, for the super chat. Holly, too. Thank you, Holly, for the super chat. Manny from the Philippines is in the house. Okay. Let's see. Um First of all, we got we got 1,200 in here now, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you an update about Reversed, the docu-series about reversing type 2 diabetes with keto and intermittent fasting. You can watch it on Glued. I just slapped a cat on the butt. You can watch it on Glued TV, G-L-E-W-E-D TV. Nisha's going to type it in the comments. But down in, in the show notes, uh, you can also watch it on yourhealthnetwork.com, and I've got a link to the first two episodes on your health network, I think is what it is, but you'll see it down in the in the show notes. There's two episodes up now on your health. There's one episode up on Glue TV, and they're going to release one new episode each week. I hate when they do that. Nisha and I are trying to binge we like something. To binge. We we're like, okay, yeah, okay, well, let's watch the next one. She's like, mm, next week. It's like, I feel like I'm in 1992. What do you mean next week? Anything anyway. else? Any anyway. other announcements? Uh, not right now. Not okay. right now. I've got a few more, but we'll save them. Let's answer some questions. Let's answer some questions. All right, guys. You got any over there that you... Let's see. Yeah, Grammy. Type 2 diabetes is 100% reversible. There's Julie from Sydney, Australia. Here's a question, Megan. Okay. Megan. That's what you got. I'm, that's right there. Oh, right here? 
Uh, I, you're going to oh. have to hold it. My sister-in-law just got diagnosed with lupus. Can you please tell me if there's a proper human diet that can help her? I've been trying to tell her, but I don't think that she believes. Me. Yeah, and she may not believe you for a while, but any autoimmune condition, whether it's lupus, whether it's MS, uh, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or psoriasis, they all respond to eating a proper human diet. Now, I'm not saying that a proper human diet is going to cure your sister's lupus, but what I am telling you is it's going to make her have fewer flare-ups, and when she does have a flare-up, it's going to be less severe. It's probably going to slow down the overall progression as well. All right. Brian. Brian WS says, I started out ATR 400, and today I'm 240. Oh, 400 pounds, and today he's lost down to 240 pounds. That's 160 pounds, Brian. Dang. Just finished a seven-day fast Sunday. I'm scheduled to get my blood work done for my yearly physical on Friday. Is this too soon after my seven-day fast? No, Brian, as long as you've eaten, you, you only want to fast for 12 hours uninterrupted before you have fasting lab work done. If you fast more than 12 hours, this goes for all you guys, then it can actually uh, make some of your numbers appear pathologically abnormal. But uh, only fast for 12 hours after you uh before you have fasting blood work drawn let me switch to you because my comments are going slower than yours are yeah you're gonna have to do the comments from over there damn these are crazy oh cat fight cat fight our two female cats are still getting used to each other and they're 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 working on yeah there's no bloodshed but they still have a little discussion every now and then okay we got one here we go okay let's do it tired looking for a name You've been here before, I remember. What should a pregnant woman on keto do when she is suggested to go through the screening for gestational diabetes, so the the sugar water Mm -hmm. basically test? Yeah, so go ahead. You got that. (laughs) So you can go through it if you want to, but if you are going to have a hospital birth, which most um, women are, most OBGYNs are okay as long as you are monitoring your sugars for like a week and then reporting back, and they'll be able to use that in your documentation. Uh, or you can get a CGM, and that will also be able to track your glucose. You can give it to your provider. Um, otherwise, it, it's I had to do it because I had a midwife birth. So um, just try to talk to your provider and show them some research and say, Hey, shouldn't this just be as good? And most of them are going to be like, yeah, that's fine. We just need to know your blood sugars are in order. Yep. Uh, Gerbera says is a carnivore diet hard on the kidneys. No, what's hard on the kidneys is a high carbohydrate diet that keeps your blood sugar high and your insulin chronically high. That's what's hard on the kidneys. Okay. If you're going to do it, then I well, need to do it over here. Okay. All right. You, okay, where are you at? Just let this one go. Yes. Okay. All right. Hector, doing strict carnivore, I'm concerned about consuming too much iron, eating organs such as liver. My iron was already elevated before carnivore. Should I donate blood mm. and use EDTA to lower my iron? Yeah, if you'll just donate blood three or four times a year, that's going to get your iron back down to normal. You may have undiagnosed hemochromatosis. Uh, just keep in mind, human beings have been eating a diet full of meat and organ meat for ever since we've been on this planet. So it, it doesn't make any sense that that's what's <laughs> causing your iron to be high. <laughs> You may have a genetic predisposition to just store extra iron. Uh, you may have hemochromatosis that's undiagnosed or several other conditions that, that can do this as well, but it's not eating the proper human diet. That's not what, what's doing it. Hey, Crown Girls. Two questions. Can PhD aid in asthma re- reduction and are children with autism able to benefit with a proper human diet? Love you both from Texas. Oh, 100%. So first of all, asthma. I've got a YouTube video talking about asthma and COPD. Uh, we've had thousands of people reach out to us in comments and say, man, when I'm e- eating keto or carnivore, I don't even have to use my inhalers. My breathing is so much better. That goes for asthma and COPD. And then uh, autism. Just watch the movie, The Magic Pill. If you want to know what a proper human diet can do with autism, uh, it's almost a magical trans- transformation for some of these kids with autism. Sandy, 53-year-old disabled female, keto for two years, lost 60 pounds and kept it off. Fasting for 18 hours, A1C is 4.9, glucose is 102. Doc said I was pre-diabetic. You might have used to been, but with the A1C of 4.9, honey, you ain't you ain't pre-diabetic no more. You got a beautiful A1C. Michelle, MSG and red pepper seasoning on my pork cracklings. Is this okay on carnivore or is this bad? I'd leave off the MSG and just stick with the pepper. 
what don't yeah she's buying them is what she said oh it, it contains energy. msg yes. yeah yeah try to find some without msg Epic in them makes really good pork rinds yeah. um epic you can get them at whole foods and sprouts and sometimes sometimes walmart depending yep. on your area jc says did you did you all go through oxalate dumping i didn't you know, I did. Nisha did a little bit. Some people do. Some people don't. Tell us in the comments, you guys, did you did you have an episode you thought was maybe oxalate dumping as you got rid of the junk food and converted to to keto, ketovore, or carnivore? I did not, but some people do. Aaron says, what's the right way to supplement iron for hypovolemia induced anemia? Um, in Eurasia, almost all of 2021 has got mm -hmm. me down. The best supplement in the world for uh, iron deficiency anemia is liver, either chicken liver, pork liver, sheep's liver, goose liver, calf liver, uh, and red meat. There's no pill in the pharmacy that's going to correct your iron deficiency anemia faster than, than that. Red meat and liver. That's it. Julia, I'm carnivore for three months. Don't want to lose weight. I eat six ounces of steak and two eggs daily. I'm five foot seven. Will this be a problem since it's so low calorie? Six ounces of steak and two eggs daily. I don't know your current weight, so I don't I don't know if you're eating enough food or not. If you will eat until you're comfortably stuffed, then that's all you have to worry about. Okay, one or two meals a day. Eat until you can't eat another bite. Chad, my coworker said that meat is hard for my body to digest. Is there any truth to this? <laughs> yeah, no, Chad, that's complete ignorance, not on your part, but on whoever said that. I've got a YouTube video uh, called Does Meat Rot in Your Colon? And it'll tell you just how much trouble your gut has with digesting meat. Uh, I'll, uh, spoiler alert, none, none at all. Unless you're taking a, a very strong acid blocker, the meat is dissolved within an hour, completely dissolved into a liquid called chyme. It's a gross sounding word, isn't it? Chyme. Chyme. Char says, can you recommend a quality CBD oil product that I can just buy online and I'll subscribe to a company or a group? Mm -hmm. Hemp or cannabis brand is fine as I am in Canada. What do you say about that? Uh, if Paola is watching, she could tell you around. Uh, I use Young Living, which you can actually just buy one time. You don't actually have to subscribe or become a member. It's available to Canada, I think, now. At first it wasn't, but I think you can. But you can just go and buy one time at retail price. You don't have to subscribe. But that's the brand that I use, and I, it works for me. Rini <laughs> says, should a person who survived a hemorrhagic stroke be on a statin? There is absolutely no research that exists on the planet, Rini, that shows that a statin is in any way helpful for someone who's had a hemorrhagic stroke in the past. So there's no medical indication for that. Shelly, high calcium on recent labs. Doc wanted to watch it. Now above 11, finally ordered a scan and endonoma surgery consult scheduled. Thanks for the video. There you go. You got it. That's it. Any any of you guys, if your calcium is either one, even one-tenth of a point above the normal range, you never watch that. That needs to be investigated. That's either a uh, hyperparathyroid or it's an adenoma. There's something going on if your calcium is, is even one-tenth above normal. Just a friendly reminder, none of this is medical advice. This is for entertainment and education. Absolutely. So you guys know. Sally, sodium is low normal, normal BP and potassium. Renin is low. Aldosterone is mid-range. And aldrenin ratio is high. Why would renin be low? Yeah, there's multiple, multiple reasons, Sally, why your, your renin level could be low. Um, keep working with your doctor on that. If your sodium was low, you definitely need to eat more salt and see if you're on any sodium depleting medications. Epi says, new to the channel, considering removing all oils from my diet and switching to just tallow and butter. I would love to hear your comments. We use mostly animal fats. Yep. Very rarely do we use any oil. So mostly tallow, bacon yep. fat, <clears throat> duck fat, those type of things is what we, butter, ghee, yep. that's what we use to cook in. If you guys just want to use a plant oil, there's four that I would even give the time of day. That's coconut oil, palm oil, avocado oil, and olive oil. Those are the only four I would ever put in my mouth ever. So be careful of the quality. Do your research. Yep. Brittany, hey, you two. My mother has been keto for over a year, lost 60 pounds. Her HDL is 68, triglyceride 67, but her LDL is 180. Her doctor mm -hmm. wants to put her on a statin. Any thoughts? Yeah, I've got several YouTube videos that will help you make that decision. 
uh, watch some videos by Dr. David Diamond, a PhD researcher. All he does is research about cholesterol. Jill, I take one teaspoon of keto chow minerals daily, massive Charlie horses, one to two times a day. I uh, thought last one was going to kill me. Should I take more mineral drops? What's uh, What do you think is wrong? Yeah, you can keep increasing your electrolyte intake up until the point where you get a little looseness in your stools, and that means you pretty much max out. If you keep having these cramps, you need to see your doctor because there are arterial blockages and other medical conditions that can lead to muscle cramps. Also, don't forget that if you're not getting enough salt in your diet, it can also lead to muscle cramps. Derek says, I'm a diabetic and I'm trying a low-carb diet. Is it okay to substitute protein shakes in between my meals as snacks when I get hungry? Yeah, if, if you're needing a snack in between <laughs> meals, you're still either you have a carbohydrate addiction or you have some stress in your life that you need to deal with directly or you need to eat more during your meals when you're actually eating. Don't portion control, don't calorie restrict, eat until you're comfortably stuff since you're new it could be that you're just not fat adapted also yep. so if you want a snack it would be best to do something that's higher fat snack so bacon or pork rinds something like yep. that protein shakes usually don't have enough fat or if they do um you got to be careful with what kind of fats you put in there or you'll be in the restroom so just keep that in mind yep bill says how do you feel about raw cow's milk i drink a glass in the morning then i eat meat later in the day uh, Bill, the reason mammals make milk and give it to their babies is so they can gain weight and get bigger as fast as possible. That's why mammals give their babies milk. So if you want to gain weight and get it big as fast as possible, then uh, raw cow's milk will help you do that. Now, I do think that raw cow's milk is less bad than the homogenized, pasteurized uh, supermarket milk. But I do not think it's appropriate for an adult human to drink um, cow's milk. It's it's going to it's going to make you gain weight. That's what it's for. Danita says, how do you feel about very potent capsaicin pills? I took a couple of few days in a row and thought perhaps it had an effect on my nerves. Does this sound silly? I, I, I've never uh, had any experience with taking capsaicin orally. Why would, what, what were you taking that for? Um, capsaicin is a, is a pretty good pain distractor if you rub it on your skin over a painful area. But um, I don't know how it could possibly help you uh, capsaicin is very irritating to, to mucus linings. So I don't know if that'd be a good idea to take it by mouth. Katarina. Katarina. Recently diagnosed Hashimoto's and will be going on armor. Is it okay to keep taking blue balls 2%? Do I need to space them out? One in the AM and the other in the PM. So two drops is what she's talking about. Yeah, ideally it's best to space everything out because that you're, you're able to absorb more. But if you're going to forget that second drop, like I would just do them both in the morning. But yeah, every human being on the planet, regardless of their medical condition, whether they have Hashimoto's, even if they have hyperthyroidism, uh, every cell in your body needs iodine every single day. And if, if your doctor doesn't believe that, have them watch my YouTube video about iodine, then they'll shut up about that. Crown of Curl says, not to put my husband out there, but low T, what do we do? Yeah. So first, first step is proper human diet. Take care of his sleep, take care, make sure he's getting sunlight in the morning, make sure he's getting some kind of activity. Uh, and if none of that, if that doesn't fix it, then he needs to go talk to a specialist about uh, testosterone replacement therapy with a bioidentical testosterone. Etienne says, good evening, guys. Good to see you guys as always. Good to see you too. Welcome back. Ben, Beni, Benigio, Benigio? Torres says, how many grams of meat I can eat in two meals a day? I weigh 160 pounds. Uh, Benicio, I don't care if you weigh 60 pounds or 360 pounds. You're going to eat meat until you're comfortably stuffed. You're not going to measure your meat, weigh your meat. Uh, you're not going to measure the length of your meat. You're not going to measure the depth of your meat. You're just going to eat your meat until you're comfortably stuffed. You okay over there? Michael says, I saw a video you did on proper human diet and you mentioned the importance of mineral supplementation. I've been carnivore for three years and I've never heard of that before. Could you expound on that please? Yeah. If you're eating a, a varied carnivore diet with quite a bit of organ meat, then you, you may be getting enough minerals, but it's very common in uh, the modern world, eat, especially eating uh, farm lot raised meat and, and factory raised eggs that they're just eating the crap that the, the farmer puts in the trough. They're not actually out eating grass that grew in the dirt. And so very often they're deficient in minerals. 
And if they're deficient, then you're not going to get minerals from an animal that's deficient in minerals. And so out of a, an abundance of caution, I like to make sure that I keep all my minerals right where they need to be with Keto Chow's Daily Minerals. There's a link down in the show notes, but there's several other mineral products. There's a discount code too. But yeah, there's a discount code for this guy right here. And it's got every mineral that you need every day. And that way, if I don't need it, I pee it out. If I need it, I got it. Boom, the end. I'm happy. You're proud of yourself? But there are many, for what exactly? There are many carnivores that don't take any supplements whatsoever and they do great. So I'm not saying you need that. Uh, but so, some of us do, but some of us may not. Rebecca says, I'm down 12 kilos keto and OMAD since April. Recently added weight training to my exercise routine. Now I'm exercising five days a week. Is it okay to continue OMAD while exercising this much? As long as you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. When you eat your one meal a day, you're going to eat until you can't eat another bite. And if, if, if you get hungry later in the day, don't feel like it's a sin or that you failed if you eat a second meal. That's totally fine, as long as it's a proper human diet meal. Uh, Sue Kelly says, Dr. Barry and Nisha, in all caps, my husband has junk food all over the house. I am diagnosed as pre-diabetic, and he's still trying to get me to eat his junk food. He read your book, too. Lies my doctor told me. How can I deal with him? What, what say you, Nisha, solace hyphen Barry? Oh, you just got ignore him. Ignore all of his taunts because obviously he's trying to get a rise out of you. You just got to keep on going. <laughs> just ignore that stuff. And at some point, he'll get tired of wasting his energy with no, like, I'm going to go a little. I'm going to I know what you're going to go a little further than that, Sue. To save a marriage. Uh, so if you were a recovering <laughs> alcoholic, and your husband all day long was just like, hey, babe, just have a little drink. It's just beer. It's fine. It's no big deal. Would you, would that, would you just be perturbed at that? Or would you be like, I feel like my husband is trying to uh, destroy me. I feel like my husband is trying to literally tear me down and make me be an alcoholic again. That's weird. Why would my husband do that? If you used to smoke crack and you'd stopped and you'd been off for years and your husband's like, come on, babe, just one hit. It's just a, it's a small rock of crack. Come on. You'd be like, dude, I'm going to leave like you. She's clearly already had a conversation with him. Well, he, he obviously spot. clearly has not listened. Yes, I know. That's so right. the next step is you can't control him. You can control yourself. Yeah, control yourself. But I mean, you need to maybe have a little more um, serious conversation with him. So I don't know what to say maybe about that. Maybe some therapy. Maybe some therapy. Maybe, uh, you know, an attorney. It's I don't good know. to have a mediator I don't know. Sometimes. I don't know. Um, Crystal. <clears throat> hey, girl. Hey. Do you need to take iodine if you're already taking keto child mineral drops since they already have iodine? Nope. That's it. And so once you have repleted your iodine by eating the iodine rich foods that I talk about on my YouTube video on this channel, then I think the keto child mineral drops, they've got about 500 micrograms in an each day supply, which is half of a milligram. And that for 99% of people, if you're eating an iodine rich food two or three days a week, that's going to be all the iodine you need. Great question. Big Medge, I found a grain-free, gluten-free, sugar-free cereal. No, I don't even have to read the rest of this question, but I'm going to. It's got four grams that of net carbs. To have four grams net carbs with their Nutrition Fact Show, 15 total carbs, uh, yeah. with my max carbs being 30 grams a day. Should I calculate using net or total carbs? Total carbs. Total and just carbs. do not eat that cereal. And I bet you, Big Medge, that the serving size is a third have, of a cup. Yeah, it's, it's it's tiny. So, and, you, and so tomorrow morning, I want you to eat that cereal and I want you to measure the serving. Whatever it says on the box, you're going to put that much cereal and then however much milk and then eat that and go, uh, that's dumb. How, I can't live on. I mean, it's literally two, two tablespoons of cereal. That's stupid. Throw that away and eat your bacon and eggs. It's not just stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. That's right. SG says keto plus intermittent fasting for five months. Um, was 365 now down to 285. I eat till I'm full, but typically that's 2200 calories, 75% fat, 20% protein. Does trying to lose more weight eventually require eating less or perhaps lengthening my fasting window to 20 hours? Yep, I, I would increase your fasting window to 20 hours. You can eat one or two meals in your four hour feasting window. Uh, and that that's what's going to do it. Also, you might want to up your fat and protein more and decrease your carbs to as close to zero as you can get them. Heather wants to know, is there a test to prove that grains and seed oils cause inflammation? Need to know for kids. 
Uh, there's multiple tests. The, the best test, because every human is different to some degree, is <clears throat> have your kids grain-free and sugar-free for 90 days and then give them uh, a bowl of Fruit Loops and, and then watch the change in your children over the next uh, 30 minutes to three hours. And I think if you do that experiment, you will never, ever give them grains again. I had a question. Oh, I was gonna, oh sorry. Well, we got a lot of catching do up Do your today. thing over we there. Got a lot of you don't up. touch my business. Oh, I'm not even going to. David says, how do I get probiotics on a carnivore diet? I don't necessarily think anybody needs to take probiotics or eat fermented foods. Now, when you're healing your gut initially, you may need to do some of that. But once you've got your gut back in good shape, you don't have to continue to put probiotics in your gut. You have about two kilograms of bacteria in your guts right now. OK, you have got every species in there. Some are, are being upregulated. Some are being downregulated. What eating a proper human diet, which includes carnivore, does is it downregulates all the bad inflammatory carb loving bacteria and it upregulates the bacteria that love fat and protein. So I don't I don't think you need to add any probiotics. You've got plenty of bacteria in your gut right now. Good question. Connor says, is it safe to feed my poodle mixed meat? Um, I bet doesn't recommend it, but I am skeptical. Dogs need meat. Cats need meat. Um, our guardian dog that is taking care of our sheep right now, he's the best employee that I have. Misha's my partner. She's not an employee. <laughs> OK, and I believe in paying your employees well and feeding your employees well. He gets a pound and a half of beef with some cod liver or some chicken liver and one or two or three farm raised eggs. That's what he eats every day. And because I want him to live a long damn time, I want him to be on his toes. I want him to be healthy, vigorous, vibrant. And that's how you keep a dog like that. If you're feeding your dog grains and pea protein and vegetables, that's pet abuse, in my opinion. The cats now have transitioned to eating raw meat also. They're doing very well with it. Yeah. Now, if your dog wants some veggies that, are, that were cooked in, you know, meat juice, yeah, let them have it. I don't think they're inherently dangerous. But if you're trying to feed your dog kibble that's literally 95% grain and pea protein and vegetables, your, dog, that, your dog's not about that. All right. Candace <clears throat> wants to know, where can I buy ghee and raw cheese? I never see it at the grocery store. Also, what are the best pork rinds? I live in Canada. <clears throat> well, Candace, we don't live in Canada, so it's really hard for me to be able to tell you. Yep. Uh, I would think ghee is carried at just the grocery store. It's not going to be by the butter. It's going to be over where like the coconut oil and that sort of thing is. So look in that area. Raw cheese, the best thing to do is look for a farm near you. You can just get on Google and look for a local dairy farm, local goat farm, something like that. And that should be able to give you the option to find some raw cheese. Yep. Karen says, is the carnivore diet enough for people with the MTHFR uh, mutation or are supplements still necessary? Some carnivores do fine with no supplements whatsoever, even though they have the MTHFR mutation. Others have to take a methylated B complex in order to feel their best. So I would experiment both ways uh, and see. Maison says, hydradenitis. Doctor, please give us tips. I think I got a YouTube video about that. Uh, hydradenitis is very intimately linked with insulin resistance or chronic hyperinsulinemia. And so when you start eating a proper human diet and your insulin returns to normal, your hydradenitis is going to get substantially better. Joanne says that Costco sells ghee and pork rinds in Canada. So there you, there you go. go. Boom, boom. If you can find the Epic brand up there, that's a good brand. Yeah. Joanna found ghee in Walmart on the I oil. I just aisle. read that. <laughs> Literally just oh, you can't that. sell raw cheese in Canada. Hey, Iago says, hi from Brazil. <laughs> hi. Uh, on my 27th day of carnivore. Well done. Beautiful. What do you feel about glycerin in my iodine supplements? I don't think it's enough to worry about. Not enough to be a problem. Uh, Jazzy says, thanks for the desiccated thyroid uh, video. Levothyroxine was killing me. Chris, I have hyperthyroidism graves. Is it safe to remain on keto? 100%. Female, 220 pounds, recently lost weight. Endocrinologist gave me meds. I now also have asthma. Yep, yep. Proper human diet's what you need. It's going <laughs> to it's gonna help you be as, as minimally sick as possible. It's going to help your asthma symptoms 
considerably. Hey, Jen Atkins. Welcome back. I'm on a two-week trial of not taking my lisinopril. My numbers have been 108 over 70, 125 over 80. Do you think I've healed my high blood pressure yet? 125 over the 80s. I mean, that's pretty darn normal. Um, I would start checking my blood pressure twice a day. <clears throat> Did they say they were still taking it or they quit it? Two-week trial. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It sounds great. You, you, I think you're fine. Call your doc and just to get it approved. Make a, a decision together to, to try a couple of months without the lisinopril. Keep checking the blood pressure twice a day just to make sure, but it sounds like you've cured it. The Reverend Dr. Ruin Palapathwaya says, if you are there, Granny Berry, hello from Melbourne, Australia. Love and God's blessings. Yes, Granny Berry is watching. She's my 91-year-old, sweet, loving little grandmother. Well, now she, I mean, she's Feisty, okay. Uh, feisty, that's one word you feisty. could use for it. Yeah, she is watching from Alabama, from my dad's house. So if you guys want to, you can tell Granny Berry hi. She loves it when you guys do that. Miss Becky says, "I saw my doctor today. He's not concerned about my cholesterol. Says keto on, and I'm very happy. Good job. I love it. I love it." Uh, Gaia says, "I'm dealing with Hashimoto's, having a hard time eating only meat. I'm unable to have dairy and eggs." I did eat carnivore in 2018. Any tips to how to get started again and push through the withdrawals? Any kind of withdrawal sucks for three to 14 days, whether it's alcohol or tobacco or carbs. And you're just going to, you may have to slowly wean them down. You may have to go cold turkey. Uh, don't avoid uh, ghee and butter. Use those in your cooking. They're full of good, healthy, uh, essential fatty acids and, and other vitamins and minerals. Can and also eat, egg yolks. That's what I was yeah, eat your egg yolks. Try to try to separate the eggs. I bet you that you can eat the yolks just fine. Uh, go Irish, go! Took me a minute to figure that out. Recently found I have fatty liver disease. I've been keto dieter for years, over ten. Seems the only way I can lose is super low calorie. Is this common for those with fatty liver? Mm, I'm. Are He's you? Just keto. Yeah, just and I'm afraid you're, you you may have been diluted into counting net carbs instead of total carbs. You need. If I were you, I would go 90 days carnivore, and, and that will completely reverse your fatty liver. It'll be gone, and you'll also lose a substantial amount of weight. Thank you, Miss Edna. Thank da you, Graham. Daniel says, "Are peanuts and other lectin-containing foods really bad for gut health?" Yes, 100. percent Yes, yes. Edna says, any tips for reversing premature gray hair and gum disease? <laughs> so I'm working on a video right now about gingivitis, periodontitis, gum disease. Uh, there's all this research out there that shows that if you have hyperinsulinemia, insulin resistance, basically you're eating too many carbs, keeping your insulin high, you are at three or four or five or even 10 times greater risk of having gingivitis or periodontitis. So if any of you guys have receding gums, bleeding gums, tender gums, you've been diagnosed with gingivitis or periodontitis, you have got to adopt a proper human diet full of real, one ingredient, whole foods, not keto products, cookies, cakes and pies and bars and shakes, but real foods and keep your total carbohydrate count under 20 total grams a day. Your gums will thank you. I promise. Danita, this is a follow-up from earlier. She okay. was the one taking the oh, capsaicin. Yeah. She said it also has caffeine, apple cider vinegar, cayenne fruit extract, grains of paradise seed extract, green tea, other things. That's, this sounds like a really expensive like supplement that was sold to you for something that it probably does. But she still didn't say what she takes it for. Nerves. Why are you taking it? Nerves. For nerves? She says those affect nerves. Well, yeah, they do. But I, I mean, I'm not sure if that's her question or if she's just saying to do those. Yeah, it's got caffeine. It's got all this these uppers in it. It's, I mean, you probably feel like a nervous wreck when you take it. I would just recommend that you probably yeah. save your money. Eat real food. That's all you got to do. Anything that has these like fancy fruit names that are like shipped in from like 100,000 miles away, it's usually mm -hmm. a waste of your mm -hmm. money. NV98 says, are you still a fan of Bulletproof Coffee? Uh, yeah, I'll have, I have two or three cups of coffee every morning and sometimes I'll just have black coffee. I usually always put the mineral drops, a few drops in there. Uh, sometimes I put some butter every now and then. Well, on weekends, I'll put like a teaspoon of heavy cream. But uh, yeah, I think I think that if you're hungry, having some fat in your coffee will help you not eat 
it's also not a necessity for doing keto. Like, that's right. It's not required. A lot of people think that you to do keto, you need to do bulletproof coffee, and that's not true. Yep. JJ says, what's your take on lemon water? I think if you like lemon water, you can put one or two drops of lemon juice in your water and drink the heck out of it. It's Ian wants to know, milk has a ish load of carbs. Yep. Heavy cream has some too, but butter has none almost. Mm -hmm. How is this possible? Yeah, because so when you got liquid milk, it's 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 fat, protein, and carbs, right? And then as you move towards butter, they keep taking stuff out. They take protein out. They take the carbs out. All that is left is the fat. So butter and ghee are just pure dairy fat, and they're fine for you. You can use as much of those as you want to. Uh, heavy cream has almost no protein and almost no carbs, but it still has a little bit. Half and half has more carbs and more protein. Whole milk has more. 2% has more, and then 1% has more, and then skim milk is the ball sweat of Satan. You're welcome. <coughs> Sherry. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sherry's been doing the BBBE diet. If you guys don't know what that is, it's beef, bacon, butter, eggs. It's the challenge Dr. Berry has come up with. It's a great thing to do if you need to reset your body. Hey, Sherry. She's been doing it for six weeks. She wants to know, is it normal to run a little warmer mm -hmm. uh, than when you were eating the sad diet? And thank you. She's a patron, by the way. Yep, she is. She is a great patron. Yeah, Sherry, one of the great things about eating a proper human diet is it actually ramps up your metabolic rate. And a lot of people notice. And, and there's actually a term for this. Meat sweats. The meat sweats. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, I ate all this huge steak and now I was just sweating. And that's because when you eat enough fat and protein, your body's like, boom. There's a cornucopia of food. I'm going to ramp this metabolism up and we're about to have a party. And that can, it can actually raise your body temp like a half degree. Yeah. Uh, she also wants to know when is Nisha starting her coaching? Yeah, Nisha, when are you starting your coaching? So I will be starting my coaching program into December will be signups. And then January is when we're going to get started because, you know, but then also my friend, Kim Howerton, most of you know who that is. We're going to be doing a coaching program through the holidays starting in November through December. It's more of a, like a, Stay on track, keep you motivated. We're going to give you recipes and stuff like that. So if you want to come to my channel, Nisha loves it. Me and Kim are going to do a live and kind of talk about that and answer some questions. And if you want to join us, we'll have more information on my channel. So hit that subscribe button. Yep. And Sherry also said that she's had thousands of dollars of veneers. And but when she went carnivore and then doing her flossing, her gums are like new, like she had a gum transplant. Like they just are like, oh, hello, Sherry, we're, your, your gums are back now. All right. Sandy wants to know, when does fasting start after last bite or when the stomach has emptied? That's a good question. Yeah. And she yeah, has two good more question. questions. Okay. So first, that one, uh, it, technically it starts when your stomach is empty, but we don't know when your stomach is empty. We'd have to put an uh, EGD down and, and watch with the camera. So we can start the clock. So we just say, okay, when, whenever your last bite is, that's when the fasting clock starts. Also, any chance keto or ketovore can help ataxia? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying it's going to cure it, but you'll probably notice a, a distinct decrease in the ataxic symptoms. And then she wants to know what your farm channel is called. Uh, our farm channel is called OB Farms. It stands for Oxford Berry Farms. And uh, we haven't put up any new content lately. I've got three or four videos in the can that I need to work on. But somehow I just, I can't, I can't get any help around here. And so I just haven't got to that yet. But somehow I've uploaded like three no. videos. They're coming. They're coming. Trisha, or sorry, Tisha. My familial cholesterol is 295 when taking 80 milligrams of atrovastat. And my doctor says to eat low fat, plant-based. Will keto or carnivore work for me? Yeah, 100%, Trisha. Uh, you need to. Tisha. Tisha, sorry. You need to find the video by Dr. David Diamond. Diamond, just like a ring. He has a video about FH, familial hypercholesterolemia. And once you've watched that video, you're probably going to have a discussion with your doctor about decreasing or stopping that statin. Uh, Frank says, uh, should we eat heart or liver? Yes, you should. Uh, all you guys would like heart, I promise. If Thank you with answering. If it's cooked properly, you're going to... Well, thanks. I'm glad you stole my thunder. <laughs> you just want to talk about organs. Yeah, yeah. But but now you guys may or may not like liver right now, but I promise you're going to like heart. 
So talk to your butcher. Get or some heart. It, yeah, it's just like good steak. Gregory, been doing OMAD and Keto War. Started at high uh, 390 down to about 290 now. I need to lose pounds? 100 more, but my yep. blood pressure is 128 over 73, down from 150 over 90. Heart rate down to 60, 65, down from the 80s. Yep. Uh, I am 53. Any advice on the last 80? Yep. Keep doing what you're doing. Be super tight with the carbohydrates. Go, wait a minute. I want to, yeah, stay right there for a second. Uh, super tight on the carbs. Uh, count total carbs, not net carbs. I'd, I'd turn down the carbohydrate intake knob as low as I could possibly go. Uh, you're doing OMAD. That's perfect. Now it's time to start lifting some weights and making some muscle because I know you probably feel like it now. Uh, I, I got the implication from your question that you're afraid that if you keep losing weight, your blood pressure is going to keep going down. And that's not true. Your blood pressure is just like your weight. It's got a healthy, normal set point that it's going to go to and stay there. OK, so as you continue to lose weight, it's not going to keep getting unhealthily low. It doesn't work that way. Same goes for your weight. Keto and carnivore are not weight loss diets. They're weight optimization diets. And a lot of people, when they get to their goal weight, they're like, oh my God, now what do I do? Well, you just keep eating a proper human diet. Your body's going to take care of your pulse, your blood pressure, your respiratory rate, your temperature, and your weight. All of those things are set by your body. The only way you can muck them up is by eating a crappy diet. Otherwise, your body's going to keep them right where they need to be. Uh, the Jazzy. This is the first time I'm hearing about carnivore diet for Hashimoto's. My TPO is 1300. Oh. What's better to bring it down AIP or carnivore? I'm fixing to do a video on, on my channel. I have Hashimoto's good, good. about why I do ketovore carnivore over the AIP diet. Long and short of it is you, everything in about Hashimoto starts in the gut. And the best way to heal that gut is to go carnivore, get all the inflammatory foods out, and then you can start to bring foods back. But AIP still leaves a little inflammation in there. Even yep. if even if you take out all the things AIP takes out, there's still things that yep. could be causing your gut to have the leaky gut syndrome and all that stuff. So yep. that's the long and short of it. But I'm going to do a full video on why yep. I did it and how it helped me. I think AIP is a good start. It is. It's a great but start. Yeah. It, it but may or may not get you where you want to be. I think for most people, it's not going to get mm. you where you want to be. Do you have tinsel in your hair? Dave, Dave Spencer thinks you have tinsel. I have grays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of Nisha's YouTube channel, uh -huh. did you tell everyone that you have coffee every Saturday morning yeah. at 10 a.m.? Yeah, so come have coffee with me and chat. I do a Q&A every Saturday on my YouTube channel. Why am I so country right uh, now? You, but just, you can just come on over to Nisha. Love come on channel. down. And we have coffee and we talk about all kinds of stuff, but I'll answer as many questions as I can over there every Saturday, 10 Central Standard Time. Go head over to my channel. Sometimes that just comes out like It just that. snuck out, can't didn't even it? Help it? Rebecca says, I have a seasonal pet. I have seasonal pet and dust allergies. I receive three injections mm. once or twice a week. I hope to find a more natural remedy. Can carnivore diet ease my allergies? Yes, yes. I used to have severe allergic rhinitis. I could just think about going to the barn and moving a bale of hay, not even go out there, just think about it in my mind. And I would immediately, my, my nose would start crying. It wasn't pleasant. It wasn't sexy at all. It was before I met Nisha. So she didn't have to see that. Were but, you like, yeah, oh, oh, and like in, <laughs> in third grade, I, people thought I had racing stripes on my, cause I was just like constantly, you know, it was just terrible. <laughs> but uh, now I can, uh, what we, I just unloaded. 10 bales of, of straw hay today for Nisha for her Halloween decor. I'm sure you'll have a video about that. Halloween. And I, I didn't sneeze a single time. And so uh, a big thing that really helped me was getting rid of all liquid dairy. Uh, the, the only liquid dairy I, that ever passes my lips is heavy cream. That's it. Never do I drink milk. Uh, I used to drink a gallon a day. That really tore my allergies up. For some people, it's grains are the predominant thing. For some people, it's seed oils. But if you get rid of all three of those, then your allergies are going to get so much better. You can probably forget the shots and maybe even not even need any uh, Zyrtec either. There's our baby pulling in. Oh, baby Beckett's coming home. Miss Jennifer Vaughn says, I got my labs today, up the HDL by 10 and lowered everything else. Ketivore, but not really losing. Wait it out or ditch the heavy cream. Um, ditch the heavy cream. Yeah. I, Just do it. You don't have to do it forever. Do it for a month. Yeah, do, do it for, it for a month four weeks. And see what happens. Yeah. And yeah. see, measure inches. 
Measure inches. Measure inches. All you guys, don't just depend on the scale. Get a tailor's tape. I got one right here. Let me just show you. You can get these on Amazon for like three bucks, okay? And it goes up to, um, for you folks that are still large, like I used to be, it goes up to 60 inches. I think you can get one that's 90 inches if you need it. Measure your, your chest, your shoulders, your upper arm, your waist at the belly button, your hips, your thighs, your calves. You Write those numbers Google down. You can all that, how to measure for weight loss. Or watch this video again. 45 minutes in? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is at the 45 minute mark, Dr. Perry. I think they have these at Walmart and Sam's and Kmart and Big K and Sam's Club and your grandma probably. Costco. Has one. Oh, Granny Bear's got one. Of Julia, sure. follow up. I am 124, 20 pounds, 5'7, swim daily. This is the one that's eating a six oh, yeah. ounce steak and two eggs. Is that a problem for bone loss? Swimming daily is great for your bones. Um, so she's 120 and 5'7. Yeah, that, and so you're thin. There's no doubt. You don't smoke, do you? Please, if you do, you got to stop. Uh, but the swimming is good for your bones and muscles, but it's not going to build the bone density, the bone strength. Or for your joints. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's great for your joints. But if you you got to have your bones strong, you need to be lifting some kind of weights. It can be your body weight, or it can be some hand weights you bought, or jump it can rope. be your kids. You can jump rope. You can run stairs. But you got to have that impact. That's what's going to. Baby. Melissa says, how does glycation resolve? So all of your cells are constantly being turned over and replaced. Your skin cells, every single cell in your skin is replaced by a new cell every three months. So the cell that you've currently got right now that might be very glycated because you've been eating a lot of carby junk food. If you start eating a proper human diet, when you replace that cell with a new cell, it's not going to be glycated at all. And if you're eating a proper human diet, it's not going to be glycated. And it'll actually live longer and perform better. Come here, baby Becky, and say hi. <laughs> oh, he's in the mood. Are you wild today? Ooh, what you got? Is that baby Yay? And you got to have a good pumpkin. Okay. He's so excited about the pumpkins. Pumpkin. Come here. <laughs> April, we love you too. Yeah, resistance bands, Sandy says, that's a great way to get some resistance exercise. They don't take up a lot. If you're a traveler, you can put them in your suitcase. They're very tiny. Okay, you get it. Say oh. hi. Can you say hi to everybody? Show them, show them your gourd. Say hi. Show them your baby gourd. No. No. Okay, oh, he's got to go. He's got stuff to do. He's busy. Uh, the Oh, the, they took the magic pill off Netflix. Does anybody know where you can watch the magic pill at now? I didn't know they had taken it off Netflix. That doesn't surprise me. But um, uh, Envy says, are you guys good with the Mediterranean diet? I am as long as you, as you eat a Mediterranean diet that keeps your total carbs under 20 grams a day. You can call it Mediterranean. You can call it Greek, Italian, French, Croatian, Slovenian. I don't care what you call it, but just keep the total carbs under 20 grams a day. Uh, Danielle says it's on Tubi, T-U-B-I. Tubi. That's where the magic pill it's is It's on now. Amazon as well. Okay. There you go. All right. Wesley says, I've been on strict carnivore for 10 months. Leaky gut won't heal. Can't do dairy or eggs. Will leaky gut eventually heal with this yep. way of eating? At this point, Wesley, I would I would question whether you actually have leaky gut or whether something else is going on. It's time for you, my friend, Wesley, to go see your doctor and do not walk in the door and say, hey, doc, I've got leaky gut. Don't do that. Walk into your doctor's office and say, doctor, I have symptoms. the following symptoms and tell your doctor every single symptom you have. You don't tell the doctor the diagnosis because sometimes we can distract the doctors. If you say that uh, a diagnosis out loud, that's what they'll do. They'll just write that in the chart. You can't, that's, that is a dangerous thing to do. Never say a diagnosis. You say the symptoms. You let the doctor figure out the diagnosis. It's also not a technical diagnosis at right. this time. Exactly. Right. Uh, Derek wants to know, how long should I stay carnivore to reverse liver fat and diabetes? I've heard long-term it is it's bad. Is that true? Uh, no. The carnivore diet is the healthiest diet out there for your liver and your kidneys. Uh, you can reverse fatty liver and fatty kidney in a few weeks with the carnivore diet. It definitely doesn't cause that. Somebody asked me about the sugar trappers and the sugar blockers that you can buy over the counter. They are actually, uh, there's a company advertising on uh, Reversed, the the docu-series about reversing type 2 diabetes that I'm in, and they're adver they, they paid to have an ad spot. And I want all you guys to know, I don't recommend that. It, it does not work. Don't eat sugar and then try to take a pill to trap the sugar. 
if the pill works, you're going to have the shits. Okay. That's just what's going to happen. If the pill doesn't work, then you just absorb the, the sugar. So the, the solution is to not eat the sugar to start with. Simple, right? Nobody wants to do that. Well, no, I mean, a lot of you want to, you, guys you know, know what I mean? Majority of people, a lot of your friends, most of y'all in the beginning, you were like, no. Yeah. Wesley says, just want to let you know, I used my keto gel drops last month and my sugar cravings are almost zero. Nice. Been struggling with sugar cravings my whole life. Thank nice. you for all you do. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to block sugar. Here, Nisha, take this. This is this is sugar. Ask me if I want some sugar. You want some sugar? Get that out of my face. That's how you block sugar. <laughs> hey, watch it. You put it in my hand. Take it easy. Josh wants to know, is eating a whole rotisserie chicken going to make me gain weight? No. No, as long as it's no carbs added. As long as it's not like a, a honey cured. Dipped in. Dipped in honey or dipped in sugar, sugar or something. But if it's just the skin on uh, chicken with some spices, you can eat three whole chickens a day. You're not going to gain weight. Randy's ketovore and had three skin tags fall off 25 pound down. No more pre-diabetes. Yes, Randy. How many of you guys have noticed that since you've been keto, ketovore, carnivore for a few months that your skin tags have gotten smaller or just went completely away? My my skin tag video now on YouTube, have, I think it's got over 3 million views or almost 3 million. And it, there's just literally thousands and thousands of comments of people saying, God, after... Six months of keto, all my skin tags went away. It's like, yeah, it's because they're caused by hyperinsulinemia. Roman, new to ketovore, having issues eating more than one meal a day and sometimes the next day. Will this cause issues in the long run? Nope. If you're eating real food, when your body gets truly hungry, you will feel it and you will eat. Uh, yeah, Serena's I, got zero skin tags now. Eileen says, any tips for a type 1 diabetic? Yep. Work with a knowledgeable doctor because as you lower your carbohydrate intake, your blood sugar is going to come down quickly, okay? And you're going to have to decrease your insulin injections pretty rapidly or you'll start to get hypos, okay? So you want to find a doctor who understands a low-carb diet and will help you to lower your insulin as you lower the carbs. You're going to benefit greatly. You're going to have a normal A1C. Have you ever had one of those before? You're going to have your risk of all the terrible complications of type 1 diabetes are going to be slashed by 90%. You're going to feel better. You're going to look better. You're going to live longer. And you're going to keep, get to keep your toes and your eyesight and your kidneys and your liver. Etienne says, thank you, guys. I've been following your advice for a year. I started at 280, lost 40 in six months. I'm still at 240, but I've lost eight inches at my waist in that stall. No more pressure, blood pressure pills. I feel beautiful, amazing. Thank beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Well done. Did you hear what he said? I'm going to read that again. I started at 280, lost 40 in six months. I'm still at 240, but I have lost eight inches in my waist during that stall. 100%. It's Measure. Called. What's it called? Body composition yep. change. Yep. Your reach. Measure yep. Yep. your inches. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Lori. Hi, my 82 year old dad wants to come off of his statins. Should he wean off or can he go cold turkey after talking to your doctor? Yeah. And so some medicines you do have to wean down, but for any of you guys taking a statin like Zocor, Lipitor, Crestor, you don't have to wean those at all. You can just throw them straight in the garbage after you talk to your doctor. Kelly says, carnivore and fasting to heal my thyroid, and I'm on armor. What test should my primary care run, or should I drive the three-plus hours if you have a practice? Yeah, so my my practice, I'm not taking new patients right now. My practice is full. Uh, but if you'll, if you'll look at my YouTube video, how to find a low-carb doctor near you, I've got six websites. You can put your zip code in and hopefully find a doctor that understands low-carb because they're probably going to understand hypothyroid and desiccated thyroid as well. To answer your question, you need to have your TSH, your TPO antibodies, your AG antibodies, free T3, free T4, and what else? TSH, free T3, free T4, TPO, TGA, and reverse T3. Those are the those are the, the most important ones. Baby, you okay? What a, what a thump. He's on a, he's got a lot. Did he take a nap today? He did. Declan wants to know an unexpected benefit I've experienced is increased flexibility. I struggled with stretching and suddenly I'm able to kick to my head. Hello from Dublin at 42. Excellent. Yeah, we hear we hear all kinds of things that 
until you understand the physiology behind a proper human diet, it sounds magical. It sounds miraculous or it just sounds woo woo. You're like, uh, so you ate a diet and now you're more flexible. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That kind of stuff happens when you stop poisoning your body. Yeah. Your body's kind of amazing. Uh, Laura Hudson says I'm losing skin tags. I'm so thrilled. I lost my seasonal allergies. I don't sunburn anymore. My waist is dropping inches. So are my arms. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. That's Victor it. says magnesium, salt, calcium, and mineral complex did not take away twitches all over my body on carnivore. How many grams of potassium should I be taking? So you need plenty of salt, plenty of potassium, plenty of magnesium, and eat some calcium-rich foods. Uh, and if you're still having twitches, then at that point, you need to go see your doctor because there are medical conditions that can cause twitching. It's not always just your diet and electrolytes. Lindsay wants to know, do you have tips for starting carnivore on Instagram or YouTube? Do I have videos about starting carnivore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a, a, a carnivore 101 playlist. Carnivore 2? You have a carnivore and a keto? Yep, I've got a keto 101, but I also have a, a dedicated playlist. It's called Carnivore 101. It's probably got 70 videos in it. After you watch those, you will have a PhD in carnivore. Steve says, been doing carnivore and OMAD for a little over a week. My blood sugar hovers around 180 all day, even upon waking. I haven't been losing any weight. Uh, could it be too much cream in my coffee? Thoughts on the 180. Yeah. So we need to get an A1C check. We need a C peptide and we need a fasting insulin. Uh, a lot of people have been misdiagnosed as type 2 diabetics when they are, in fact, type 1 diabetics or they have something called LADA. So you need a C peptide and a fasting insulin to make sure your body's actually making insulin. Uh, go back and look at your diet and make sure there's no hidden carbs in the sauces, the rubs, the condiments, the, the spices, and uh, keep giving your body a chance to heal. But you got to have some labs checked, my friend. You may have been misdiagnosed. Spaced wants to know, will diabetes, insipidus, and zero carb cause issues holding any electrolytes worse than normal? Uh, yeah, because you're, you're going to pee a lot, right? So you're going to have to really, really mind your minerals and electrolytes. Zach, we love you too, man. Rod says, find a gym, Cairo or PT that has a body scanner. It's amazing and a little creepy, but it's the best way to track your body composition. Do you agree? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. You need a DEXA, DEXA scan. Sandy says, my doc says that the, the iodine drops I'm taking is causing my thyroid levels to increase and to stop taking the drops. Can you explain this? Yes, Sandy. Your doctor doesn't know what he or she's talking about. Watch my videos about iodine on this YouTube channel and maybe even share the link with your doctor so they don't keep saying silly things to their patients. Thank Anthony you. wants to know, will this way of eating help uh, a seven-year-old little girl who has dex, uh, dyslexia? 100%. Yeah, now I'm not saying it's going to cure dyslexia, but all human beings focus. of any age, when Beckett was four and a half months old, he started eating a uh, ketovore diet. And he still eats that to this day. He's benefited from it greatly. Your child's going to benefit from it too. Uh, Farnopolis says keto tips for lowering blood pressure. Yeah, you want to keep your total carbohydrate intake under 20 grams a day. Some people have to go even lower than that. That And, and that's literally the only tip you need for uh, eventually correcting your blood pressure. Don't worry about salt. Jill has asked this question a few times. I keep missing it. Are green bananas, when just open, okay on keto? Uh, bananas are a phallic-shaped fruit that are full of sugar, and they're full of uh, carbs, full of fructose. Now, you can't taste the sugar when the banana is green, but the sugar doesn't magically appear out of nowhere when the banana gets ripe. The sugar was in there all along. Uh, other uh, phytochemicals break down that were giving it that bitter taste. They break down and, and leave just the sugar. So green bananas have exactly the same amount of sugar as ripe bananas. Sugar is, it's not magic. It doesn't appear out of nowhere. It's, it's, it's always there. Ron, this is a great question. Uh, I've heard it's 20 grams total carbs to lose and then 50 grams of carbs total to maintain. Is this true? Totally depends on the person. Some people can eat 100 total grams a day and lose weight. Some people would never lose weight on that many carbs. I personally have to keep my total carbs to, to 10 or under a day to, to maintain or to lose a little bit. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. 
What else? We got any announcements? It's time. Oh, up. well, let's see. Uh, did you tell them? You, did oh, you tell them about your podcast? I got a podcast. Nisha Uncensored. It's everywhere. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. It's on uh, Audible. Oh, yeah. Luminary. Too. It's on Luminary. Uh, what's it called? Nisha Uncensored. That means sometimes she says the S word on there. Uh, now I told you, I told you guys earlier, if you had specific questions, you wanted me to answer in, in more detail, a deeper answer. This is how you do it. You become a patron on patreon.com. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up. Uh, you can do three bucks a month, five bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, whatever you can afford, whatever you want to do. There's different levels of rewards at, at different levels, but at the $3 a month level, you get access to two extra uh, live Q and A's every week, and tonight we've got 2,600 watching. Right, so think how fast the questions are going. In the Patreon lives, we have maybe 100 or 200 people, and so very often I'm able to answer every single question in good detail. We do one in uh, at 6 p.m. our time, and then we do one in the morning the next day because we yep. do have people from. So no matter where you are in the world, we're going to do one that's in your time zone. That's right. Exactly. And if you if you're a $20 patron, you actually get three you live get Q&As. Zoom you get an actual yeah. Zoom call as well. So, um, yeah, if, if you want. And so if you don't want to do that, that's fine. We still love you. We, we'll we'll see here. you next Monday right night here. at 7 p.m. But if you got more questions and you need a deeper, more detailed answer, that's how you get it. Or you can come hang out with me on my YouTube. Have channel. coffee with Nisha Saturday morning at 10. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for telling Granny Berry hi. Thanks for sharing this video with somebody who may need this information. Thanks for the thumbs and thanks for subscribing to this channel. You guys are pretty amazing, I think. Yeah. 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 Hit the thumb on your way out. We'll see you next week. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later.